what is up, YouTube for the franchise guy? Come at you again with your 113 game winning Phillies. Take on the eight seven game winning Washington Nationals. As we have another MLB MLBW right here. We see right there Cornelius Randolph, the Philadelphia Phillies, former top prospect right there. It's kind of fallen off recently. But Patrick Corbin on the mound, 33 starts, he's 13 9, 377 year range, 200 innings pitch, 198 hits, a 133 whip, 6 down walks, 217 strikeouts. So Corbin having a pretty good season for himself, actually. I mean, I've seen a bunch of pitchers, you know, they're pushing that 200 inning limit. But take a look at the Phillies, you know, got Harper, we moved to Randolph, got Hoskins, Alvarez, Baum, Hazley, Kingery, and Eflin rounding it off. But before we get into this episode, guys. I do want to talk to you about our sponsor quick, Ride and Rosters. I mean, Scout Scoops, Ride and Rosters, that's who it's powered by. I mean, if you want to go check out his content, check out the link in the description down below. Check out his Patreon, help him out. He's got to bring you the OSFM rosters every year. And, you know, if you guys think that you love that content, you know, show him some support, show him some love. You know, definitely check out. Scout scoops and you know say thanks to Ryden, but you know Eflin on the mound right now. You got Turner striking out right there. You got see Nationals on. You got Turner, Eaton, Soto, Smoke, Cabrera, Para, Suzuki, Kiboom, and Gordon, Corbin, Corbin. I say Gordon. I say Corbin. That's what you want right there. But back to the Phillies. We have Alvarez striking out right there. I mean, last inning we had Cornelius Randolph end it on a lineout. Right now we're going to have Patrick Corbin getting another strikeout. You know, back to Eflin. Eflin, get the strikeout right there. Going to get Justin Smoke looking right there. It's a, it's a bad man Eflin has been this season. A 96 mile hour pitch inside. Going to get Kurt Suzuki a strikeout swinging. So, so far through the game. Three strikeouts. 3-2 count once again. And it's going to be a line drive single to right food right there. Alvarez gets to it quickly. Fires in the second base, and that will be a two-out single. Now up to bat will be Eflin. Eflin going to send this one to center footer. That's going to get down from the center footer. He may have had a play on that to actually get an out, but Eflin will be safe on first. All right, back to Eflin on the mound right now. Going to get a big strikeout right there of Carter Keyboom, our number five for the Washington Nationals. And a 3-2 count now. Two, number seven, Trey Turner, and Turner's going to strike out swing on the off-speed pitch. Slefflin and Corbin both dealing this game so far. 3-1 count to Hoskins, and Hoskins gets the hold of this one, sends this one to deep left field. Does he have enough on this one? And yes, baby, he does. 52nd home run of the season for the big first baseman right there. It's the final game of the season, so Hoskins and Harper, if you don't know, are tied 1-2 with the home run record right now. So whoever hits you know more home runs this game could really turn out to be the National League MVP or the Triple Crown runner. I do believe Harper is in fact in contentions for Triple Crown. But I could also be wrong because I don't think he has, um, he might not have the average, but I do know home runs and RBIs are definitely up there. Eflin now with two outs in the inning, going to get another strikeout on that 97 hour fastball. It's Smoke's second strikeout of the game. You know, Eflin right there jumps the line because he's not superstitious. Hazley up now, and Hazley's going to strike out. Suzuki drops it, going to fire on the first base, though, to complete the out. So, I mean, Corbin only allowing one run so far as Kingery steps into the plate. And Kingery, same thing. Strikeout, Suzuki drops it and fires on the first base for the out. Suzuki, you know, two drop pitches, but not, not too big of a deal. Eflin now up, and he's going to get number 25 right here to strike out. It's going to be Juan Soto. ERA, as you see right here, that Zach Eflin does, in fact, lead the MLB in ERA. Now 2-2 two -two count to Gerardo Parra, and Parra's going to strike out looking right there. Eflin mowing down these Nationals. has seen them a bunch of times. Not afraid to go after them because he knows what they can and can't hit. And Suzuki now going to get out and looking as that's back-to-back -back strike. It's actually three strikeouts in a row. He struck out the side, but not, not an easy day for this Nationals. Not, not easy whatsoever. 
Harper up now, 3-2 count, and Harper sends this one to deep right field, and that baby will retake the lead for the home run record. Harper, 53rd home run of the season, gives him first place back off his former team. You know, Corbin, you know, has allowed two runs so far this game, not bad for Patrick Corbin, but both of them have been off the long ball. And Eflin holding the Nationals in check has prevented them from, you know, rallying or tying the game up, really. But Harper right here is going to look at that swing just off the bat, and he knows it's gone. Look at that look he gives it. He knows when it's gone. He gives you that little stare down for that brief stare down right there, which I love to see. Now we have JT Rimuto up in Rio Muto. Going to send that one to that right center gap. Going to go all the way to the wall. JT's pretty quick, so he will end up at second base standing for a one-out double. Eflin back on the mound now, and here we go. Strikes out, Kiboom looking. 96-pound-hour fastball for the young infielder. Now Anthony Rendon, pinch hitting right there. 275 with... Eight homers, 45 of our resident stolen bases. Not a great season for Rendon. Don't understand why they really re-signed him if they weren't going to use him. But, 1-2 count to Rendon. Rendon will, in fact, strike out. So just like many other players in this, you know, in this game, they're going to go down to the punch out. And in will come Anibal Sanchez in eight games. He's 0-1. 4-7-6 ERA, 5-2 and thirds innings pitched. So Alvarez up now. And Alvarez... Gonna signal to right field right there. So pretty, pretty consistent hitting right there. I mean, just because there's a new pitcher doesn't mean they can't hit him. Hazley up now, and Hayes is gonna draw a one out walk. So two men on now as Hazley gets the walk. Sanchez not too thrilled with his performance right there. And up comes Kingery. Kingery gun to bloop one in right there. And of course. Hazley has to hold up, so he will be thrown out at second. How unfortunate. But in doing so, the pull says old groin region. Fortunately, he's able to walk off under his own power, which is a good sign. It's not torn. However, Hazley will need to be replaced. So, not what you want to see, but moving on to the next bottom of the inning. We do have Tory Hunter Jr. come in to take over Adam Hazley's spot. 2-2 two -two count now with two outs, and Eflin still dealing, gets Smoke to strike out for the third time of the game. Smoke not having a good job as Eflin has only held the Nationals to one hit. So, Matt Grace, the lefty, comes in. We've seen Grace a bunch of times. In 80 games, he's 4-4 four and four with a 310 ERA. 78 innings pitched, but he's going to take on Randolph, and Randolph is going to strike out swinging. So, not a productive day for Cornelius Randolph, former Phillies top prospect right here. He has yet to put good wood on the ball. Eflin's still out there for the top, bottom of the eighth, and it's going to be a line drive signal to left field right there. Left fielder gets there quickly, fires it on in, and that will be a single to lead off the inning right there for none of the number 25 one Soto, right? But after that single, going to follow it up with a strikeout right there of Gerardo Parra. So Eflin's still showing he is in full control of this game. And, you know, Nationals manager has seen enough. He's pulling some strings out there. He's going to make some switches. That's what you like to see. You love to see a manager just not know what to do. Just make all the moves possible. But then will come Trevor Rosenthal with his infinity ERA. Four and six games. He's won three. Two saves. Five, five, seven ERA. 42 innings pitch, 54 Ks, 303 for lefties, and 257 was it for righties? Something like that. But Alec Baum's going to strike out that 99 mile hour heater. Up, stairs. Not a good pitch to be swinging at. But it will come Saranthi Dominguez in 61 games. He's 3 and 2, 45 saves, 279 ERA, 61 and 30 innings pitch, 83 strikeouts. Left is batting 186, and right is batting 204 against the former starter. 1-2 count now to Trey Turner, and Turner can get blown away by that 99 mile an hour fastball. He throws his bat away in disgust, picks it back up because he is upset. You know, bottom line, 1-2 count to Eaton, and Eaton, ground ball to second base, Bomb has it, fires onto first base, complete it right there, and right there, Eflin throws the two-hitter, shutout, not the complete game though, 
we're going to give the save to Sir Anthony Dominguez, who does go down 1-2-3 for the Nationals. But, see right there, Coyance Randolph uh, did have a great game, didn't record a base hit in his Major League debut. But hey, he made his Major League debut, and that's a lot for some people. It's more than most people get in their lifetimes, too, you know what I mean? Well, Nationals relegated to not first place in the division. Don't know where they actually ended up. Don't know where the Braves ended up. I knew, I do know the Marlins and Mets are probably at the bottom. Besides that, I do not know where everyone else ended up. I mean, look at that. Corbin falls 13-10. Affluential player of the game had 13 strikeouts this game. Harper went 1-4. for four. Hassans went 1-4. for four. Rimuto went 1-4. for four. And Alvarez went 1-4. for four. Bunch of strikeouts on both sides. But... If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have missed any episodes, just place it down below. It's full of all the other episodes. And the Patreon link to Scout Scoops. Text me to you. Peace out. Rock on.